these days. I notice how the sun reflects light back on the holly bushes around my house. How transit roots don't seem so long when your mind is not all thorns and prickled roses running red. But as I take the sky train, pull myself onto the 99 beeline from commercial Broadway, walk through these crowded streets high in empathy, kombucha, clean laundry, and self-care, I have drawing moments where the train stops, my body thrown in a similar motion to a car crash, and I stumble backwards into yesterday. She was so rich, she could wear brand name clothing like it was thrift. Sweat marks on Thrasher hoodies, brown eyes sharp with hatred as she entangled me, and the black shoestring below her neck kissed me with broken bottle lips as my body sliced in two fell to pieces for her. He was trouble. I was wide as he cradled that month-old baby, played with his brothers bouncing on the trampoline high above me. Two hours later, pinned me down on my living room carpet, spittle flying, lips shouting profanities. I was asking desperately for the missing piece I could not give him. I look in the mirror and I see my past reflected back, all sunken eyes and vacant promises. Some days, I cannot feel the abyss they create in me, with any amount of kindred spirits, parkside lunches, and sudden laughter. And this repetition of bad memories creates sound waves and my brain stutters on the page. I am trying to get better, to be better, to not picture the people left behind while the train drifts forward pulling me with it. But some days, my emotions regress, and as hard as I try, I cannot erase what's left.